Today, I'm going to let you look at how I add space and depth by using reverb and delay plugins on my mix. I'm gonna dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Wherever I go, surely goodness, love, and mercy will follow when I go. As you so this is a trio version that I play on acoustic guitar and sing. Along with there are three tracks which are an electric guitar, a guitar pad, and a piano. That's it. But there is a lot of parallel processing ongoing like parallel vocal compressors, parallel mix buses, and parallel reverb and delay. But we will look into how I use reverb and delay on my mix to add space and depth by two different approaches so then you can manage the mix session efficiently. Using the word parallel sound fancy and difficult. Usually we call it send effects and it's not so hard to do it. Here is a dry vocal channel and you want to add reverb to make space for it. A traditional technique is that you add an aux channel in your DAW and insert hardware or a plugin reverb to your aux channel. Here are a dry vocal channel and a dedicated reverb aux channel. You need to send the dry vocal to an aux channel that has a reverb or delay via bus. You need to choose specific bus route to send and your reverb aux channel receive the specific bus route. It's finished. Now you just need to send as much as you want. Inserting a compressor or an EQ is known, but inserting a delay or a reverb is sort of forbidden back then, especially at the analog mix era. But these days, most of us mix in the box or hybrid setting and computer hybrid like CPU are getting better and cheaper. And most CPU heavy plugins like reverb are now light on CPU uses. So you can use many plugins as your PC can handle for your mix. Usually reverb and delay plugins have own parallel knob or two separate dry and wet control built-in so that you can insert directly to the channel. So when should I insert a reverb or a delay directly to the channel? Or send a signal to aux channel which contains a reverb or a delay? The answer is simple. When a track shares the space with other tracks, then you need to make dedicate aux channel and send a signal through a bus. But when a track has own space that no other track will share, then insert reverb or delay directly. Let's look at this electric guitar track. I insert plate reverb on the guitar track. I think this came from a guitar recording session that a guitarist added instead of print reverb on the track by a guitar pedal or hardware unit. Because in this way, I can change the parameters of this plate reverb for my taste. Once you record dry signal with reverb, you cannot undo it. But if you like specific hardware or a plugin that you want to put it in the track, then you should record separately or directly depends on your direction. Let's listen with it and without it. Okay, let's listen with the whole track without vocal. Also, here is a guitar pad track that has a delay and a shimmer reverb. Those are dedicated for each guitar track that no other track will share. I will play for you with it and without it. Mm -hmm. 
on his leg. Adding shimmer. Without both. With it. The difference is dramatic. Okay, let's listen with the whole track without vocal. I'll bring up the, the pad for you. Without it. Aux channel for ambience reverb. I use one of Impulse Response from Bricasty, which is a fabulous hardware reverb unit. Although my instruments send a different amount of signals through the same bus, so that I can glue them all and make it feel like these are in the same space. Because a keyboard and a guitar track were recorded through line in instead of miking. Okay, here is a dedicated Aux channel for ambience reverb. I will exaggerate for you. I add a whole reverb and doubler are the same process. For doubler effect, I add around 25 milliseconds to left and around 45 milliseconds to right. And I detune it depends on the music. track without vocal. Let's mute this both, doubler and precasting. Add it. Easy is that? <laughs> no? So that is for today's video. If you found it helpful, then make sure you hit this video with thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to listen to this live session on your streaming service, I put the link below so that you can check out this song. And I will see you in the next one. Annyeong!